So you can see that I have spiffed up the plot here. I've given it a, a title. I've changed the axis labels. I've changed the legend name. I've made the, the line thicker. I've changed, I've made these bigger fonts and so on. And such a figure would show up much better in a report and it would look nicer. So let me show you how I did that. So if I go, so let's just go through these tabs. Um, under general, I went and gave it the title. Data series. Now you can give it, um, you know, a series name, and this is just an internal name. But if you have multiple curves, it's nice to have a name that makes sense. And under the x-axis tab, I can go and you know deselect that option, and then I can give a custom label for the x-axis, and that's what I've done here. Similarly for the y-axis under the y-axis tab. And then if I go under line display, um, I can turn off this option and then I can give it a legend name. So if you have multiple curves, you know, this is a nice way to give, um, to kind of give, you know, give appropriate legend with that curve. And then under chart display, I went in and uh, tweak the line size, so I changed it to four, so you get this thicker line, which shows up better um, if you include it in your report. And then I also changed the font. I increased the font size for the title, the axis titles, axis, and legend. And you can play around with that. You can see my own settings here. And, and then I set apply, and I get that curve. And I can add a corresponding experimental curve here. And in this case, the experiment, you know, I just have the average value in the heated section. And I don't have it for this particular conditions. Um, so, but just to show you how to add in experimental data, you create. So, if you go to your working directory, okay, you will see that that's a job. And you have job name underscore file. So, you need both of these to to restart the the ANSYS project. And if I go to this particular folder, there is a user underscore files. And it's best to put your uh, any files that you create or you read in, in that folder, because that's a default that ANSYS assumes. And so I created a .csv file that has the X location and the corresponding experimental wall shear. In this case, it's, you know, I just get the average. And so I'll show you how to read in that, that data and to have a, a plot corresponding to that data. So I go to the data series tab and I say new curve. And instead of location, now I say file. And then I can read in the file, and by default, it goes to user underscore files. So I select that, I say open, and I apply. And you can see it plots the average wall shear in the heated section. Now, in this case, the experiment and the simulation are for different conditions. For Cornell students who have to repeat the simulation for their own experimental conditions, you should get a much closer match between these two. So in this case, you know, the experiment doesn't really apply, so I'll just delete it. So I can just delete it over here and say apply. And if I want to save this um, this figure as an, an PNG file, which I can include in the report, I select this option. And by default, you see it goes to the same user underscore files, which is over here. So I'll put it there, and I'll call it um, wall shear.